So this is probably the best way for me to explain my Canvas page is just kind of showing you a video. So this is what's called your dashboard and your dashboard is all of your classes. So my first period ceramics and then I have three sections of seventh grade art and you can just combine all three sections of one class in one dashboard, if that makes sense. Um, and then sixth grade art. So those are my three classes. The rest of this stuff is just, just ignore that. So for ceramics, for example, I'm going to click on that. You can create a home page. So this home page then is like kind of your little home, your hub for all of your links. Okay. So like if they want to see the resources for the current project that we're working on, you can, I created these, so these buttons I created. So when they click on current project, it will take them to, well, we were doing this <laughs> pinch pot fish. So we were making, so I just create what's called like a little module for each project. And then here's all the resources that for that project. So the, the slides, the vocab, um, there's like a little check-in Google, like you can add any link you want to this. So I'm going to go back though. Um, and then, so these are all my little, like my projects. So now I'm going to go back to my homepage and then Here's so they can join my Skype lesson here. So these two new buttons are what I had to add new for this virtual learning. And then my e-learning. So then this will take you to a different. So this is day one, day two, day three, all of my e-learning lessons, which is really nice. And then the other thing you can do within Canvas is create an assignment. OK, so let's say that. So I'm going to go to my assignments. So here was, here's the, for example, the recreate a famous painting. So I'm going to click this assignment. And you can go to like speed grader. And then you can see all the kids who've turned this in. So this kid, he did turn it in. So here's his little link. She turned it in. She turned it in no submission. So you can just go ahead and give that girl a zero out of 20, whatever it is, because she never turned it in. So the other cool thing that I use, so these are just the things that I use in Canvas. I create assignments and when you go to grades, so now let's say that I want to let all those kids know. So here's the recreate a famous painting project. So anyone that's in pink right here didn't turn it in. So this is what I do. That's so nice. I can just click on these three dots and says message students who have not submitted yet. So I can say, hey, you need to turn this, oops, sorry. Oops, turn this in. So um, then it will email all those kids and let them know that they need to turn that in, which is a really good way instead of looking it up and just letting them know, looking it up like old school and writing down each kid's name that hasn't turned it in. So my favorite part, obviously, of Canvas is using, like, the dashboard. So here's my other classes, too. I set them all up basically the same way. Um, this one looks a little different because I have second period, fourth period, and fifth period all in this same. Because they all do have the same content because it's one. Because um, it's seventh grade art. There's just three sections of seventh grade art. So their stuff looks a little bit different. So they were working on watercolor cityscapes. And so for each project, I just create a little, it's called module for each project. And then just that way, all of my resources can be organized in one for each project. All my resources can be organized in each project. Sorry, my brain's not working. Um, so I hope this helps a little bit. You can also like post discussions, like say you want them to like post, um, you know, a discussion about a certain work of art and then they can all respond to that too. Um, you can do quizzes, you can upload like files, do grades, assignments. There's seriously so much you can do. I'm still like learning and trying to get better at it, but hope this gives you like a quick little overview of how I use it.